Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, I'm going to show you how to restore single table from full backup in MariaDB or MySQL. So first of all, let me show you the database of what we are going to use for our testing here. MySQL-U root-P and then let me connect with that. One, two, three. So I have a database called the ABC and uh, show tables. There are two tables in this uh, database. So you can see there is employee table and uh, there is a test uh, table. If uh, you see uh, the row count in these tables, uh, you are going to see a lot of records for employee and you are going to see only one uh, record for uh, test. So think about a scenario where uh, somebody comes uh, and uh, then drop uh, one of the table. So let's say they have dropped the uh, test uh, uh, table. Now you have taken the backup last night or maybe in the morning and somebody asks you, okay, you can go ahead and restore only the test uh, table. So how you are going to do that? First of all, we need to have a full backup, right? So what we will do, we'll exit from here and then uh, we are going to take the full backup. So I have the query written. We we have done this many times in the previous video. We use MySQL dump and then run that statement. Very simple statement. And uh, MySQL dump, provide the user, provide the password, provide the database name, and then uh, provide the location of where you would like to take the backup. In my case, I'm going to say ABC underscore full. So you would remember that it is full database backup. Okay, all good. Now we took the backup. Next part is we're going to go back and then drop the table. So let's go back and uh, drop the table. Use ABC and we are going to say drop table test. Okay, now if we say show tables, we should not see any t uh, test table. Okay, we are all good here. So let me exit from here. Now, next part is we need to extract the definition of a test table and the data from the full backup. There is no straightforward way you can do that. We have to use SID program that will extract the data for us from the full backup and create a new file for our test table. And then we can load that to the database. Let's go back here and take a look on the syntax. So we are going to use SID utility and then we provide these filters here. So we say, okay, start from the drop table and then uh, uh, we will provide our table name, uh, say test or employee, whatever the table name. Then uh, go all the way where you find it unlock tables. So it is going to start from the drop table definition and go all the way in Zerts and everything and uh, get that information for, from, for us uh, from this uh, main full uh, backup. Once it has that, then we are going to put that information in one of the files here. So we can change everything here. Let me go back here. And you guys know that we want to extract the data for test table. So test and our directory, we also know that we are going to change that. So we call that one MySQL backup dash and uh, our database name uh, sorry database backup name is abc underscore full and uh, what name we would like to keep for our just one table we can say it test underscore table okay that's all good here the test table file is uh, created so let's uh, take a look and you can see that uh, I have uh, ABC full, uh, the size uh, right here. And then if I look at the test uh, table, you can see that it is 531 uh, bytes. Um, so very small file because it has only one record and just a create definition. If you would like to take a look on this uh, uh, definition, you can always run this command cat. And you can see that uh, it has a create table definition. Okay. And then... Uh, it has a one insert statement. We have only one de uh, record here. All right. Now we exit, uh, uh, clear the screen. Next step is uh, we need to load this data to our uh, database. So I have uh, the script ready for you. It's uh, no different from uh, restoring a full uh, backup. Just you have to provide the file in which you have uh, separated the table definition and data for it. Okay. So what we do here, so it's going to be sudo mysql 
you provide the username you provide the uh, password then you provide uh, the database name to which it uh, need to be restored and then uh, finally you will provide uh, the file name so in our case it was uh, test table because that's what we would like to restore so the only one table okay great so we are going to go ahead and enter it is restored now we go back uh, use uh, sorry mysql dash u root and the dash p provide the password and then uh, use abc and uh, if we count take the count from test uh, it should be there there should be one record there all right so this is how you are gonna take the full backup then you for the testing purpose you drop the table but in real scenario maybe developer or maybe somebody has junior db has dropped the table then you're going to separate uh, the table definition and uh, your uh, insert statements uh, from your actual full backup to the new file and then restore uh, to the database uh, thanks very much for watching and i will see you guys in the next video